Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Even though our chat room is currently steeped in an argument over which IRC client is the best, and if you want to join that debate, swing by live.perillo.com anytime, day or night, there's always activity. But this question came in just the other day from the chat room. Uh, someone who went by the name Aaron MC 182 Laptop. It's a long chat name. What does .msi stand for? I thought it was Microsoft Installer, but I don't know. Well, you got it right. It's pretty much what .msi files are, are installer files that uh, developers or software companies distribute instead of in just giving you a single exe setup file. Uh, they give you an MSI file. Now what are the advantages of an MSI file and why would you use that over the ubiquitous setup.exe? Well, it's actually deeper and Microsoft thought it very well through. Uh, I've got to give them credit, give them credit where credit's due. The idea of MSI is that people who develop these software packages and installers can script that installer. They can actually make it richer and a richer experience than you can normally get through a setup program. MSI has powerful scripting that allows you to throw command line switches at it and slice and dice it seven ways from Sunday. And yes, I realize I said actually again, for those that are keeping count. Um, but moreover, have you ever gone through and you, all of a sudden you're having problems with a program that you installed and you need to repair it? If you installed it with an MSI file, a Microsoft installer, it may be smart enough when you're going through the option to say, do you want to uninstall, reinstall, or repair? And that's the nice thing about an MSI file, uh, more than just you know running a setup file when you go to install a program, is that you have a lot more levels of control once the program is installed or during the installation process. So the MSI file is a good thing. It's not to be avoided. Uh, and if, if you have a choice between running a setup with .msi on Windows or an .exe, I'd go with MSI. Again, you've got a lot more options down the road for uninstallation or repairing, modifying. Uh, you, there's a lot more power. And, and, and when I say power, I don't mean from a power user's perspective, but more from a troubleshooter's perspective. So if you know someone who may not be that familiar with software, the MSI may help them figure out the problem without them turning back to you. MSI is a good thing. So hopefully now you know what it is, and even if you don't, well, just rewind the video, play it back, and you'll figure it out.